I'm Gabby Lamb. And I'm Harper Rose Drummond. And you're You're listening to Tea Time, Time, where we talk about the nastiest, dirtiest, naughtiest, wildest secrets. Enjoy. Are we rolling? The red light's on, so you do the math. (laughs) (laughs) Hey guys, welcome back to another fucked up episode of Tea Time. (laughs) I'm your host, Bart Simpson. And I'm your host, uh, Mr. Smithers. I don't have a hat. What? I have a hat on. Okay, Lee doesn't have a hat on. Okay, Lee doesn't have a hat on, but you also don't have pants on, so I don't know why we're worried about the hat. Lee has a bald spot. He's trying to cover up. (laughs) Yeah, but Lee, it was... Lee, actually... Sorry, Hump, go on. I was going to say it was a self-made bald spot. I was going to say that he (laughs) just plucked it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, OCD. He's just plucking out one by one. Beep, beep, beep. beep. Yeah. God, doesn't that hurt? Ah, God, thinking about that, like, sends sends fucking shivers down my spine. Oh, my God. Doesn't it hurt plucking, like, hairs out? Yeah. Well, yeah, my my friend used to have a crush on this girl that would like pull her hair out in clumps. Yay. So if you guys have any more questions about that, you can DM Matt Torkelson at Tork Comedy on Instagram. I do have questions. <laughs> it's going to be so mad. Yeah. No, my hair is falling out, though. Is every, it really? You, you do have good time, thick hair. I do. I have I have, I have full head of hair. Yeah. But rosemary oil. Get it's, on it. It's the sink is getting full of hair every time. Well, here's castor hair. oil a few times a week. You got to massage it in. I have that. Okay, making it about you. Just giving Tyra Banks. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Lee, just massage it in. Lee, did you know that like every guy is on balding pills? Is just on take hymns, some. Yeah. And Rogaine. I know. Why My brother I'm not gonna, uh, shaved not? his head, went completely bald, anyway, used Rogaine, and then care. it grew back. I did? Mm hmm. Rogaine and no, rosemary. No, because Eli's hair was never actually falling out. It he, was That shit was thinning. He just has like He a, was also very stressed. He has a receding hairline, but like it's fine. Yeah, it's giving the Bill Murray. Fucking hairline. Okay. Well, well I don't, don't know. know who Bill Murray is, so now I'm triggered. I heard that he, <laughs> I heard the other day I was talking about him, I think with Shane, and we were talking about how there are stories about him being a fucking huge asshole. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, who have was you heard that? that? Really? Someone walked off set. They didn't uh, not Zendaya. Was it? If it was, I don't Mike I don't Lane. remember who it was, but yeah, there was a, yeah, that was really fucking sad. It's a jarring he, no, thing. No, I think it was Kat Dennings. Oh, really? Yeah. Bill have, Murray, really? Yeah. Yes, I know. Because there's the stories about how like he like goes around and like makes people's day. Yeah, there's that. But By then showing also, them his dick, yeah. But then there's also stories about him on set just being a fucking nightmare. Really? Yeah. L- like like uh, high maintenance. Like, yeah. No one talk to me. I did watch no. a thing Aww. about the new Ghostbusters, and and uh, and they went into uh, the how the originals were made mm-hmm. and. Bill Murray didn't was adamantly against doing a second one. Really? Yeah, he liked he didn't want to do he he like Well, I support he, that. He roadblocked doing a second uh Ghostbusters like from the start. Here's the thing, I've never watched it, never will, don't give a fuck. Do my cheeks look good? I got cheek filler. Um well, I feel like we've already gone over that, but um How they, do they look today? They look okay, they look really but it's a do they look you sharp? Don't, okay, Gabby, I'm answering so sharp. you. Thank yeah, you. It's it's yeah. a little too sharp when you don't have makeup on. When you have makeup on, Shut it's okay. Up. But it's just when you have makeup off, it what? kinda it looks it looks like horns. Here's the thing is that she said this like the second day that they were injected and they've definitely toned down. Yeah, it's gonna Did it? it's gonna settle down. Well, no, I mean, see, even Lee's saying it, it's no, going I to don't. settle down. He said, Oh, it's going to settle down. Okay, first of all, you don't know anything about filler. You've literally never had it. Yeah. So Lee, I'm glad that you can recognize. I think you look great. Thank I you. Really do. Okay. We'll stay mad. So I'm not gonna be a fucking <laughs> cuck to fucking cheek filler. But anyway. <laughs> Okay. okay, Lee's having a nervous laugh. She, also, put on, Lee, she put on her fucking boots and now she thinks she's a fucking, she's a Miss Thing. You're just mad because you didn't put on your boots today, but you do have on your dirty uh, Air Force. Yeah, my dirty Air Force Ones. Who the fuck? I saw someone on Instagram like shitting on people with dirty ass shoes. You know what? It just means that you're an adventurer. It does mean you're an adventurer. And also Air Force Ones are like the most popular shoe. The most popular shoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What gloss is that? <laughs> you wish you could know. I'm gonna go through your bag. Lick do you all like of it? Them. Yeah. Don't. Well, don't I don't know. Do not with the tongue. Don't do the. Gabby, don't start. It's a long fucking day already. Don't do the fucking tongue at the beginning of the episode. Y'all, I cannot with her. I can't. So you're saying you like this gloss color? Got it yesterday. 
Okay, over the over the attitude. I'm probably not going to tell you what it is. Mm, I'll go through your back. Here's the thing, <laughs> Gabby's. Per- well, guess what? I have 700 glosses in there, so good luck finding. Mm, I'm sure to use all, all of them. But here's the thing, I um, <laughs> I was looking for gum in your purse, mm-hmm. and I opened it up trying to find the gum, and it was the same lip color. <laughs> from different brands over and over and over again. It is! In your purse. Like, no different shade. It's all the same shade It's all, all the different brands. That all make this, it's so fucking all true. All half used. <laughs> so true. Caps are off of some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so true. But you true. know what? You, you aren't a quitter. You're like, yeah, we have some fallen soldiers, but soldiers nonetheless. Yeah, we do. I um, will not throw them out. This I, is also the best drink. Not sponsored, but... Wish Red Bull, because that would be good apricot, money. Apricot. It's so fucking good. Here's not the thing. sponsored. It's 5 p.m. Why are we fucking drinking Fuck, Red Bull? That's true. Well, I'm not gonna stop. Well, I'm not gonna stop either. It's, I'm, I'm it's really good. Red Bull. Let me Fuck get it, your Lee. water. Let me get your waters though. Are, are you never Red Bull? Um, Lee, crack one open. Know. Let's get fucked up together. Lee's gonna stay up fucking jerking off. Oh God. You and I. I what does your shirt say? Can you can you not read? No, because the microphone's in the way. My eyesight's bad. It looks mm. like beer blazer. Looks like you're fucking illiterate. Hmm. You wish I was. No, that's not Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Hey, guess what? Uh, Woo! All right, Lee just got us water. So cute. Hey, we want to let you guys know that this is... So we recorded our the pod, uh, one of the episodes a day ago. Mm-hmm. This is the, we, we took a day break. Now we're back. We have another one to record tomorrow. It's, it is just nonstop it's a lot of tea, tea time. time. It's nonstop tea time. Essentially, we're moving in with Lee. That's essentially what it is. We are moving in with Lee. Also, I have, we just saw a fucking um, what's it called? We just saw a fucking Instagram story, and it was about how every single piece of plastic that you use is not going to be broken down. Don't and guess it. what? I just want to say that I have two plastic water bottles a day. You do the math on that. I'm I just want to say that I'm actually better than you because guess what? I went out and I bought glass, my big glass water bottle mm-hmm. and I fill it up with a big, in a big, big glass a jug. Yeah, you fill it up in a big every jug. Day, every day I am clean with my water. Every so day, fuck you but and podcast fuck you. days. You drink the one I give you. Yeah, yeah you I actually do. Yeah, you actually do. So <laughs> guess, guess unfuck you. Or me. What? <laughs> okay, so this week's story, or this week's theme is um, service industry Which stories. we have all, I don't know about you, Lee, but you and I have absolutely worked in restaurants. You and I met when we were both working in restaurants, actually. <sighs> Some of the darkest years of my entire life. I think I think that's what truly drove my alcoholism, oh, was yeah. working in service industry. Yes. And restaurants are a fucking nightmare and i probably talked about it on here before but just want to get back well, that's to why it. we're doing it well yeah because, because it because comes up so, so often so we decided their stories yeah we wanted to do an episode dedicated just really to the fucking hell that we've all been through the trenches we've all been there or most of us have been there you can tell when someone hasn't been there i'll tell you that um you can right? but instead of doing like two years in the army i strongly believe everyone needs to do two years i yeah it, it that's how you get your ego fucking checked humbled and it also makes you believe um, in hell if you don't believe in hell. Um, hell is real and it exists it's in on a restaurants. Shift. Yeah. It is on a brunch shift. Mm-hmm. And those were the shifts. Every time it was brunch, that's when I would go like sit in the fucking bathroom, do whatever I wanted to do, stand in the walk in freezer. Oh my God. I would make Instagram stories in the walk in fridge Obsessed. and freezer. And yes. then there was dry storage where I would go and dry I would storage. just stick my hand raw into the bag of chocolate chips, pull it out, so good. unwash, eat the chips. Then really? the pancake chef would go and get the bag that I just reached my hand in and bake pancakes for all of you. How <laughs> many? God, there's so many. Um, What is it? Like health code violations oh, that I've committed. I'm so excited for us to really fucking get into this. That's also we want to have like a shorter catch up just so we can really like get in. Like, yeah. OK, so I worked at this bar called The Dark Room on Melrose. Don't know if I should should have said the name, but no, I did work there. No, it's closed now. It is closed now. That's karma for their awfulness. But I was one of the only girls that worked there. It was super. It was a great environment. And um. One time I was at work and this girl was being a, f- it was like, like, it was like kind of like a dive bar with food. And I was a cocktail server slash waitress. And th- this girl was being such a fucking 
asshole, just going out of her way, just being a, a real jerk at every single turn. Why did I say jerk? I don't really know, but okay. Yeah. Anyway, so she's being super awful. She orders food. I go to the back to get her fucking quesadilla. And I'm <laughs> no, holding- you've talked about this on the podcast. Oh, have I? You oh my God, about- where they kicked her fucking quesadilla yes, around. Yes, you told like- the story. Oh, oh okay. Well, just yeah. for, if you haven't heard it, basically it, they started yeah. uh, kicking the quesadilla around like a hockey puck because they found out she was being mean to me. I said, I can't, you know, I can't take this to her. <laughs> and so they bad. then the runners took it and she developed it and said, mm, so good. That's so vile. So I, I that was so sickening. But you really do need to fucking be nice to the people that are serving you because like I personally am not gonna <laughs> fuck with your food, but like you know Me neither because I believe in karma. I believe in karma, but here's the thing. Sometimes you have to kind of give karma a little assist. And when I was working in restaurants, I would always like I would tell someone I would tell like one of my buddies in the back, either like a chef oh, yeah, or yeah the kitchen the kitchen staff always has your back. Ruthless. Um I remember one time I was for one of the six years that I was working at her. Oh my God, there's hair in my eye. One of the six years that I was working at a fucking at this restaurant, you know, every day was a new day of new hell, but there was a customer couple that always came in. They were very bizarre, very, we were all, all of us at work. there were like, what the fuck is wrong with this couple? Anyway, uh, they disappear from their table for a little while and we're like, where do they go? Um, we realize they both come out of the bathroom. I don't know how we figure that out. But one of my coworkers goes into the bathroom and says that there is vomit all over the ceiling, per- the oh. walls, <laughs> Wait, the floor, what? the toilet. They had vomited. And my coworker was like, no fucking kidding. Like it was like the exorcist. Like they had just vomited all helicopter style oh my god and then just left and then of course both of them went in there feral behavior ceiling no how does that happen i do understand all the walls i do get that unfortunately in the floor i don't i don't understand how you spray walls well uh when we break we'll fuck i'll show you but here's the thing um the (laughs) ceiling the ceiling is is vile Mm mm-hmm Ew. Like a sprinkler head. Okay, did you ever have this? <laughs> what? Yes. Um. I, uh, okay, so also working at this dive bar, um, people would leave their bloody pads and tampons. Tampons on the floor, but bloody pads. <laughs> One time I went in, at, it's like, you know, 2.33 in the morning. I'm going to clean up. I'm like delirious. And this fucking bloody bitch had had wiped all, she had put no, like a bunch of her fucking didn't, bitch. pads all on the wall. And I walked Used in Used ones? There. Of course. What, first of all, what do you mean a bunch? Like she was just walking around with a bunch of used pads she in her She was purse? there with a gaggle of her friends. Clearly they had all synced up. That's What the fuck are these menaces? Okay, well, let's get into it. Yeah. Um, all right. Getting paid to stare at dicks? Question mark. <laughs> when I was 18, I worked at a Halloween store for a few months. One day I was working in the fitting rooms. It was an extremely boring and normal day. Until this dad, probably like 36, and his seven-year-old daughter appeared. He grabbed a Blades of Glory skin-tight bodysuit, and a couple of minutes after going into the fitting room, he called out and asked if I could help him with the zipper. I found this to be a bit weird, but I didn't think too much of it, so I headed back. I zip it up, and I'm about to head back to the counter, but he asks me how it looks. Uh, It looks good, but if I'm being honest, it's a bit revealing and by a bit revealing i mean i could see his entire dick print through the fucking costume also i'm pretty sure this man went commando and was getting his dick cheese all over the inside uh i tell him there's mirrors in the hall if he wants to just look and this bitch man says i don't want anyone else to see which is just question mark question mark question mark How do you expect to buy and wear a costume if you can't step out of the stall to take a little gander? I get him the mirror, and I'm trying my hardest to not stare at his dick, but it's almost impossible. Oh, yeah! I see what you mean. So, what do you think? (laughs) It's for an adult party, and this costume is just too funny. But I don't want to be insecure. At this point, I'm just like, what more do you want me to say? I've already said it's good and fine. So at this point, I'm just like, oh, so I'm like, if it's for, if it's just for adults, then why does it matter? If I love how like fucking not giving a fuck she is. Yeah. If it's just for adults, then why does it matter? If you just rock it, it'll be funny and nobody will fucking care. It's just a body part. 
Then he proceeds to ask what he should do about his bulging cock and starts rearranging it and having me stare. Yes. I'm trying to give him suggestions and I tell him he could just go to Dick's and get some compression shorts. He thought this was a joke and it was not. (laughs) (laughs) He could get a cup or he could tuck. Bro, how the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't own a fucking dick and don't deal with them on the daily. And then he asks how he's supposed to tuck because there's nowhere to put it. Oh my God, my dick is so small. (laughs) If queens can do it, you can do it. Figure it out. Seriously, what do you want from me in this moment of time? Oh no, your dick's not small. You have a giant horse cock. (laughs) This is her like pretending to respond to him. (laughs) Mind you, it wasn't that small um, because I can see fucking everything. And I'm talking veins and tip. Oh. And if you forgot, his child has been waiting for him. While he's violating my eyes and my peace. Oh. He's too weak. Uh, He's too weak bald. So he gave me his nasty-ass costume back, and he goes to get another costume. Mm. He comes back with two more skin-tight costumes. And I am so confused because, um, I don't know, something tells me he right in, run into the similar into a similar issue of the penis variety. He asks, uh, he asks me for help again, and I don't know what to do, so I go back, and he starts telling me how cool I've been about this. What a fucko. And <laughs> asks for my, I love that word. Yeah. And asks for my opinion. Again, So I'm at such a loss for words and I'm just like, question mark, question mark, question mark. (laughs) Dude, I don't fucking know. I said that it's fine, but I'm kind of young, so I don't know. I'm 18, so you didn't do anything illegal. Ha ha ha. Fucking sexual harassing dickwad. This is is wild. I finally get away and my assistant manager is at the the counter and he can instantly see that something is wrong, but but I just shrug it off because I'm trying to be normal. Anyways, he takes over for me and lets me take my 30. At the time, I felt a bit bad for leaving the man because he probably embarrassed the shit out of himself after I left, but I was so happy to be out of that shitty situation. Fuck him and his freaky dick. Four years later, and I'm still trying to practice, uh, process what the fuck happened. Um, he had oh, a fucking fetish. I said, thanks for yeah. reading. I was going to go to your live show, but I forgot it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Get a calendar queen. Um, but we would have loved to have seen you there. Um, yeah, that guy definitely has a fucking fe- like. If it's like that, then he a hundred percent has like a fucking fetish kink shit. That was some weird fetish shit. Also, yeah, trying to get you to like compliment his dick or something, rearranging also, it in with front his of fucking, you. And his fucking kid is right out there. It's giving child abuse. That's fucking whack. It's giving fucking weirdo. It's giving trying to flirt with you, but in a weird way. Also, I feel like he was trying to like talk about I think he was it sounded like he was trying to be funny about him actually having like a big dick. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he was trying to do. He just yeah. wanted her to look at it. Yeah. 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 It's not that big. I don't know what he's like. Oh, it's so it's, small. It's so small. And meanwhile, he has like a fucking like bottle can fucking such a ding weird dong. move. It's so fucking gross. Why are you smiling? Why are you taking notes right now, Lee? Lee, Lee goes, yeah. he goes, it's such a weird move. Yeah, he, I, I would never, I could, I could never do something that That's weird. That's such a weird move. Oh, that made daddy uncomfy. Huh. Hmm. Halloween's coming up, isn't it? Yeah. October such. 31st this year again, too. <laughs> <laughs> such a weird move. And and the costume store was on Highland. That's, that's kooky. Uh-oh. Huh. Do you still work? Do you think she still works there? Yeah, you think, what part of California was it? It was LA? Oh. Mm-hmm. And now Lee's leaving the room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, huh? Can't You're up it. next. What if when Lee came back, it was in a skin tight costume? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I wish. Honks, I've been no, waiting I for don't. this topic. One of my first jobs was at a steak and shake on the south side of Indianapolis. I was fresh out of high school and didn't really mind being treated like sh- uh, shit by all the customers. The we co- didn't know better. No, you are new to being abused. The coworkers were amazing. We'd get high in the freezer. The Mexicans taught me Spanish. Our manager always, <laughs> always let us. It's always the Mexicans in the kitchen teaching all, Spanish. Always. So I way, learned all my Spanish. Way more efficient than ye- than 10 years of doing it at public school. Mm, I'll tell you that. Fucking taking Mr. Driscoll's class. Fuck that. I learned Mr. so much. I learned so much more from Emiliano in my fucking kitchen. Mm-hmm. I'm still buddies with one of the chefs from my last uh, restaurant job. Them. And I haven't been there since 
February of 2020, and we still talk, and it's really cute. Okay. Our manager always let us take home food, but all good things eventually come to an end. I have spit in my fair share of drinks. Not my proudest moment, but not the worst to happen at this place. I ended up becoming an overnight lead, basically the only person in the back making the food. There was, yeah. an, there was one other employee with me, a server. One weekend night, a group of drunk males came into the place do, doing what drunk fuckboys do, talking nasty to us. We ignored them until one of them decided to grab the server's ass. Acting quickly, I didn't think to call the cops. No. I grabbed a large knife and confronted the guy. My manager hadn't left the building yet. Came running to me and told me to go smoke a blunt in the back because I was getting crazy. (laughs) I wonder how that would have ended if he wasn't there. But what I really wanted to share was there were two males I worked with. They both did the nastiest shit with food, dropped burgers on the ground, spit in everything. No! That's another fucking kink. So y'all need to get checked. <laughs> uh, one night they told me they both took turns pissing in the chili. No! <laughs> no! Just like just like the chili that any innocent customer can get. Here's the thing. This like, wait, gap. Oh! <laughs> yes, but think about this. Think about how much random saliva and other, you know, bodily fluids you have ingested with how much we eat out. 100%. Oh. Fucking hair. I could probably create a whole human made up of other people's not, DNA that I've ingested. Just, but not just taking pisses into the fucking chili. If you've ever eaten at a dive bar, you've eaten shit and piss. Okay. <laughs> um, my ex-girlfriend used to work at this bar in Portland and she shit in Chile and, and her ex-girlfriend had come into the bar and then she served her. It's a whole thing. She should be arrested. Okay. So yeah. if any of you, if any of you uh, listeners ever ordered chili from the East street location around 2010, 2011, you probably consumed their piss. <laughs> Love you both. Beautiful ladies. Love you girl. That was I, wild. I mean, short, but sweet. That was fucking wild. Not the piss. That was a great story. Yeah, it was short and sweet. I love that. Did you guys ever, Ever spit in anything? No, no. I was Neither. not. I'm not a spitter. I, no, I, didn't do, I, I never didn't. did. Mm-mm. But I did tell my coworker who I knew was a spitter. <laughs> this woman called me a, um, if I may say the word, she called me a retarded cunt. And don't when I like, go- don't, first of all, don't act like you don't say that word. I have never. That's actually my first. I just lost my virginity to that word. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not like Gabby. I'm not like Gabby. Don't act like you don't walk around the I'm, house I'm not saying like the Gab- big old R word. Well, it doesn't matter what I'm talking to you, but otherwise, <laughs> you know. But anyway, and you do know. But uh, so <laughs> um, I did tell my coworker when that happened. It was during a brunch shift. I was about to cry. I was so fucking stressed out, probably hung over too. Oh, and then she called over. me a retarded cunt. And then I was like, oh my God. And then like pushed the food at me and then like got some like strawberry bullshit on my fucking shirt. And I was like, okay. So I tell my coworker who had anger issues. Y'all think I'm bad. You should should have seen this cunt. And then um, I'm oh, saying cut with love at, in that uh, scenario. So then I tell her and then Miss Spit McGee just fucking. No. Yeah. So good. It was always so my favorite good. joke with the kitchen guys, just to spit and spit in it, just spit in the shit. Like, mm-hmm. cause a, every time I ordered food, they would be up, they'd be annoyed with me because mm-hmm. that, that they, they, hate yeah, they it. hate when you, the staff orders they food. They hate staff. They yeah. hate making food for staff. I so it. I would always, I would always joke that all my food was spit. Like it was just team piled teeming with spit. It is. And, yeah. and they would get offended probably because they were spitting in it. <laughs> yeah, they're like, how does he yeah, know? Yeah, if you get really defensive over something. <laughs> Which is even, and then they're like, why does he actually like it? And then they're getting even more pissed off. Yeah. yeah. Here's, okay, here's, uh, I remember one of my coworkers, old coworkers, he told me that during one of his shifts, he went and sucked off one of the kitchen guys in the bathroom. And I was like, is the kitchen guy even gay? And he was like, no. And I was like, all right, nice. Um, so they're out, you know, while you're all, while you're there getting your little fucking meal with your little fucking family, you got kitchen guys getting sucked off in oh, the bathroom. Aggressive. Oh God. The bathroom is a den of sin. Oh, it's a den of sin. The, the dry storage. I, oh, I'm trying to remember. I just had a fucking story. We were talking about spitters, revenge, mean. I, I would do a thing. I mean, this isn't even that bad, but like at, at the last restaurant I worked at, we had like rewards cards, you know? So it's like every time you come in, you get oh. points towards a meal and then eventually you get like a free meal. Mm-hmm. And I would just pretend to enter people's points so they would never be racking oh, up points. Oh, that's so funny, Gabby. That is so goddamn funny. Oh, that's good. And then if they would ask me, they'd be like, oh, can I see my points? I'd make up. I'd be like, uh, 300. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so fucking good. I did that all the time. That's so. I bet that was such a, such a bitch to actually uh, actually. Enter. Yeah, it fucking was. So I just didn't do it. I was like, oh, fuck you. You can fucking get you. If it's not a stamp card, eat a dick. Eat a like, dick. Don't make me fucking enter a birthday and yeah. a card number and a thunk, 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 thunk. No. Oh, oh, you have this many points. No, fuck. Oh. Also, why are you as an adult trying to collect points? That's for children and you're a fucking pedophile if you're trying to collect anything. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you are a fucking pedophile. Yeah, so Lee, you know, God, take heed. God, I, I had something <laughs> else to say and I completely forgot. Oh, oh, oh. Well, okay, I have something in the meantime. So yeah. So talking about like, you know, doing shit you're not supposed to. So uh, the last restaurant I worked at closed down. Shout out to Commerson. Worst name for a restaurant ever. <laughs> um, I had immunity there because the owner of the restaurant came up to me one time and was just like, are you Jewish? And I was like, uh, no, I'm not Jewish. He goes, my mom always said I should marry a Jewish girl. And I go, huh, well, best of luck out there, I guess. And then I was putting on um, chapstick and he goes, Harper, you got a big mouth. And I go, yep, I do. And he goes, I bet you give a mean blow job. And I go, ding, 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 ding. I'm not fired. And so then I just go and I tell the manager at the time, I go, hey, I just want to let you know I could sue you because of what just happened. But you're not, no one's going to get in trouble. I just am not going to get any more write-ups for being 15 minutes late. You can't boom, write boom, me boom, up now. Boom, boom. Yep. <laughs> and how many write-ups did I have at the time? Oh, nine. Every day. Yeah, every, yeah. Every, every fucking day. I would I would constantly get threatened that I was going to be fired. Nobody ever fired me because of my award-winning personality. Okay, honestly, being funny saves you. It yeah. does. Fucking, I, was I was a terrible a, worker. Terrible, terrible worker. But I would, if anyone was having a bad day, I would always cheer them up. Oh, and yeah. And like, at the job I worked at, we weren't allowed to have free food, but all the chefs loved me. And yeah. so they would always give me free food. And so if someone's having a bad day, I'd go like, all right, Hector, come on. And then he'd give me a fucking like salmon yum yum dish. Yeah, of course. Give it to the sad coworker. Yep. Everyone's happier. Yeah. Sure, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be kind of rude to the customers. I'm going to get their order wrong. I'm yeah. not writing anything down. Not yeah. because I have a good memory, just because I don't give a fuck. And you're always <laughs> Oh, you ordered the duck? Well, I guess you're eating a burger now, bitch. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. That's kind of what it is. Oh, God. I was always <laughs> hungover. And then I would take Adderall and it was just like that oh, every yeah. night. I would. Every single, maybe I've talked about it on here before, but when I was working in the restaurant, in the last restaurant I was at, that's when I had my DUI. Mm -hmm. And I would constantly, it's, I had a breathalyzer in my car. I would constantly wake up so hungover <laughs> that I couldn't start my car to go to work. So I would have to call an Uber because, mm -hmm. you know, the breathalyzer would detect the point. 1-7% of alcohol that was on my breath every fucking morning. Mm -hmm. And that's how we would start the day. I would sleep with my makeup on, go to, go to work, throw up, take an Adderall. Yeah. Fucking go, 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 go. Make... $75 in a day. Yeah. And then blow half of that on open mics, go party, <sighs> yeah. wake up and just, it was on a loop, on a loop, yeah. on a loop. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a depressing fucking nightmare. You guys, I I'm not kidding. I blacked out so many shifts because like, you know, it's like free drinks. And so I would just be drinking espresso martinis yeah. and I'd be like, woo, let's get these tables. Yes. And I'd be like, I can handle 20 tables at once. I got it. I got it. And then I would have 20 tables. And the next thing you know, I'd be in a lift on the way home and I'd be like, oh, Guess the shift's done. Obsessed. <laughs> yeah. Ob obsessed. Yeah. Everybody's on their worst fucking behavior. God, I remember my, my managers always being so judgmental, but then also being like such alcoholic drug addicts. The one managers of, are the worst. They're like <laughs> legally considered felons. They are. Okay, <laughs> one of my managers, he had three DUIs, was always taking like weeks off at a time to go on vacation, go to fucking Burning Man. And then he would... uh come back and be all stressed out at us. Not enough has gotten done this weekend. He would reek of booze, yell at the whole staff that we didn't get enough done. Then we'd go into the break room to talk to him. He'd be like, man, I'm on fucking Tinder right now. I got so fucked up this weekend with this girl. Are you fucking kidding me? What? And then he'd walk out of the break room and be like, all right, guys, you, you got to get on your shit. Yeah. Oh, that they always had like a fucking like Dr. Jekyll and fucking Hyde switch. They'd be like, oh, come wait. on, we're all family yeah, here. And you share too much we're with them. family. And then it's like, and then you're like, okay, well, if we're family, then I guess I want you to love me. And then we'd have like this like sweet loving moment here. Like take a bottle of wine home. Yes. Here's a free meal. Like and they flip. five minutes late isn't a big deal. And then you enter regular French fries instead of sweet potato. And all of a sudden they're about to slit your wrist and theirs. And it's like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought thought we were on the same level. I thought we... Yeah, I thought we were cool. It's like, oh, hey, I, I messed up. Like, they actually didn't want the beet juice. They wanted carrot. They're like, you incompetent, untalented fuck. And yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, the write-ups in the back. And I'm like, go wipe your ass with that, you fucking failure. Go fucking wipe your ass with that. God, oh, I can't. It's so traumatizing. I would write all of this shit down 
And I don't remember it anymore because I just blocked it all out of my memory. It was just so many years. Oh, I had of... a note in my phone. Yeah. Like, okay. Would, would you do that? Oh, all the time. Oh yeah. My friend and I, we would do like a shift recap where we would like write like the top like five worst things that happened or top three, whatever. It was always five. <laughs> top like worst things that happened during a shift and then like compare and see if we had any like crossover. Yeah. Oh, it's so great. funny. Also, I do want to just say one thing. You're not a uh, failure if you're a restaurant manager. You um, are a failure if you're a rude restaurant manager. That's true. That is fucking true. And if you trick your, um, if you trick your employees into thinking that you're friends, and then you turn on them. Yeah, that's fucking manipulative. Yeah, Fuck don't you. do that. Fuck you. Just, you know, I would respect you so much more if, like, from day one, you're like, "Hey, I'm a fucking cunt. Don't mess up around me, or yeah, yeah. I- I'm gonna lose it." I'd be like, "Oh," because yeah. also, unfortunately for my personality, I have to fear you in order to like really do a good job at work. If I don't fear that's you, that's true. Oh, I'm I'm ringing up everything for free. Mm-hmm. It's true. So I would give shit away constantly. Oh, constantly. I fuck. <laughs> I remember this was before I was sober. So I was definitely in my raging alcoholic um addiction. Mm-hmm. And this guy always came in, his name was Patrick, and he wanted to try. We had like, you know, on tap, we had kombucha. And I didn't and one of them was alcoholic. And he was like, oh, can I try that one? And I was like, for sure. And I, you know, pour this alcoholic kombucha into a, a big shot glass for him to try. He guzzles it down and then he goes, is there alcohol in that? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I'm sober. Oh. And I was like, okay. And then my coworker and I were just like laughing and we we're like, what's a big fucking deal? God, Gabby. And then, and then uh, my manager who was in recovery at the time for crystal meth comes out and he's like, did you just seriously give Patrick alcohol? And we were like, yeah, <laughs> he threw a big fit, fit about it. <laughs> and he's like, that's a, actually a really big deal. Like we could get in a lot of fucking trouble for that. And we were just like, whatever, fuck him, pussy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so essentially we are responsible for this guy's relapse. No. Did he actually relapse? Do you I, know? I don't think that he did. I, Cause he like had it and then he was like, no, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Oh. He's fine. It was an accident. It's like when you fucking ate like Joy's weed brownies or whatever the fuck. Yeah, Don't talk to me about that day. Most al- most kombucha has alcohol in it, even if it doesn't. Yeah, just have like, like trace enough- amount. Yes. Yeah, but this kombucha was the bootcraft. This shit. No, this shit. Like, I should have yeah. known. He shouldn't have asked for it. That's yeah, on that's him. right. That's that on you know what? Him. Blame the victim. If you can take one thing away from this episode, <laughs> he is, was asking what for it. What was he wearing? What? How? How loud was he asking for it? Yeah. And I almost accidentally ate weed cookies at the wedding I was at. I I, oh I I seriously Free love, I, baby. There, there, was, there was a there was a huge bag of cookies and I was like oh cookies and I grabbed like a handful of them. Lee, not oh cookies. <laughs> not, oh. <laughs> I grabbed it. It was at the hotel Me after, hungry. and I and I just popped a whole one in my mouth <laughs> and then I tasted the weed and I was like oh these have weed in them don't and then it was the the it was the uh, the groom. And he's like, he looked at the bag. He's like, oh yeah, those definitely have weed in them. So I spit them in the, I spit in the trash. Okay, if you, you if you had eaten them though, do you think that would have like caused a relapse? No, probably not. Weed is so boring. Mm-hmm. I don't even like weed. It me makes either. me paranoid. I gave up weed like ten years before I got sober. I love that it's like weed that makes you paranoid, but heroin you're just like heroin. Yeah, fuck you're it like, up. I'm a breezy fella. I'm a <laughs> yeah. breezy guy. Math, don't even I, talk to me. Okay, yeah. wait. Am I next one? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was the assistant manager of a tasting room at a corporately owned luxury winery in a conservative white area. Jesus, fuck. None of those words are in the Bible. (laughs) Where most customers expected us to kiss their asses and straight up treated us like servants, as they always do, especially Mm -hmm. the white ones. The white ones are the worst. Yeah. Because like they just like the the upper class whites are just like, get me back to slavery. Yeah, they they do. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking hate the I hate the white customers. Okay. We had to take most of the abuse from customers in order to make sales goals and not hurt our sweet, sweet Google reviews. Oh, don't give me yeah. Oh God, I know. It's all for the Yelp reviews. Fuck off. Someone on Yelp said that you um, were wearing your shirt too low. Fuck off. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you in the in the office, please? Well you had a complaint from a customer. We got a complaint from Have a you customer. ever had them like bring up the Yelp review? Like, is it true you called their child an ugly potato sack? It's like, yeah, I fucking did. Yeah. And it oh, was funny. I just remembered what I want to talk about. Um, let me circle back to it. it uh, it's about calling a girl girl. Um, have we talked about that before? Should you just get into it right now and then we read the story? No, no, I'll, I'll finish this. Okay. Um, okay. I'll write it down. No, I got it. Uh, not to hurt her. Sweet, sweet Google reviews. One of the most wor- one of the worst experiences was an older couple who came in with friends. They had shitty boomer energy right off the bat. 
The woman had a stank face the whole time, and it's because she's getting dicked down by her white, small-dicked husband. Um, um, but, 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 but. And my younger coworkers asked for backup almost immediately. As we're standing behind the bar helping other customers, the dude starts yelling a random name across the tasting room that none of us recognized, so we didn't answer. Then he was like, are you girls deaf? Come here. I would have been fucking shaking. Yep. That's when it's fight night. Be- it is. Because apparently he was trying to get our attention. I go over to the table and he asks to try a very expensive library wine, which I absolutely could have done. But because he was being so pushy and it was near the end of the day, I decided, oh, sorry, we can't open that for tasting bottle purchases only. I think his ego was bruised in front of his friends because I told him no. So and that's another thing. We will lie to you. About yeah. not having things if you're a fucking oh, if asshole. Because re- you want to know what? It just really is fucking disgusting yep. how bad behavior is rewarded. It like, is. When, when, it is. Whenever was someone whenever someone was like really fucking nice at the restaurant, like we, we went, that place that I worked at, went through managers them, all the time. Give them free and shit. And I always had the manager code. And I would just sometimes give people fucking free dinners, free fucking the brunches. Same. I would yeah, bring if someone out- was really sweet, mm-hmm. Fuck, you know what? Give you, them, I would give them free drinks, free food, everything. Especially if like something gets messed up or something, like they're so kind about it. Oh, then honey, you can eat free the next three times you come in. Yeah, if I don't I'm give a fuck. If, yeah, if I'm there, it's on my fucking tab. Yeah, I don't give a I'll fuck. start a fucking tab in the back. Oh uh, my God, that's so true. If people are shitty, I, I'm- can I'll I, put an extra fucking thing on can there. Can I get tomatoes on my sandwich? Sorry, we are, we're out of tomatoes. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> it's like, oh, uh-oh. Oh, and now in fact, we're out of bread. In fact, we're out of everything. The best fact, day of my life was March 2020 when fucking COVID happened and I was at fucking work and they were just like, uh, everything has to shut down because I guess COVID's real and we don't know what's going on. So, and they sh- just shut the fucking restaurant down during my shift and they're like, guess we'll call you guys if we have to open. And then it didn't open for a year. Yeah. And I never went back. Oh, that was the best day of That's my life. So funny. You got uh, some too. Yeah. I was at work and they're like, Oof. and I was actually like making a huge stink. I didn't even know how serious it was. Yeah. I just knew I didn't want to be at work. And I'm like, oh, I mean, like I have epilepsy, which is really badly affected by COVID. So I should probably go. So I don't know. And then they're like, okay, just go home. Just go home. And then next day, get a group text of like the whole restaurant. They're like, oh yeah. So we're going to be closed for two weeks at the end of the two weeks. Yeah. So I guess we're closing down. And I was like, see ya. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that, talk about the best day. I know. Ever. Ever. That was the best day of my life. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, it honestly was. I'm going to get back to this in one second. The other best day of my life working in a restaurant was when we worked next to the Thai Thai um, embassy. Mm-hmm. And there was a bomb threat at the Thai embassy. So they had to shut down the whole restaurant and everything on the block. And it was just like, fuck yeah, dude. Freedom. It was always the best when something would go wrong. And they have to shut down. And you're like, oh, fuck God. I remember one time there was like two days. <laughs> Where all the fucking pipes broke. We couldn't ha- use water. I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, my God. I yes. pray. You just pray for the fucking you, restaurant you to pray. catch on fire. God, I worked in um, downtown LA. Shout out to Phil's Coffee. They fired me, LOL, um, for faking a seizure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, my best acting performance, I guess. Made a bitch work harder. Um, but so Phil's Coffee, downtown LA, fired me. Okay. Um, anyway, but before I got fired, <laughs> there was a shooter outside. And at first, I'm like, oh, oh. I was like, oh, no. And we, a see dream. we see, literally see him walking no. outside. And I was like, oh, no. No. Oh, 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 guys, no. it's time to clock Audi. And then they were like, oh, yeah, but you guys should all probably like stay in here to be safe. And I was like, not mama. I'd rather take a bullet than take another coffee order, bitch. I'm fucking out. <laughs> I would out. rather risk my life. I would die in a fucking fire. And I do mean that <laughs> before I sweet, sweet, medium, sweet or not sweet. <laughs> and then, and then like, favorite okay. thing, uh, taste it in front of me. Let me know how you like it. Are they trying to say that? Yes, we have to say that. And we're, we're like, they're trained. It's like, just like in Trader Joe's, like how they're trained to like, like want to like eat your pussy whenever you walk in there or <laughs> dick. Yeah. Or whatever else you or want to yeah, identify. Hey, 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 hey. hey hands an up, inclusive boss. podcast. Hands up, boss. But anyway, but fucking Phil's coffee. Yeah, they're, they're like, be really, they like teach you to like have like no, a fucking like, this is jolly no. attitude. And guess who doesn't actually have one? Me. I was like, fuck this. Waking up at four in the morning, going in there like, no. hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. no, I don't want to fucking act it's like 4 that. 4 a.m. You're 4 fucking pissed. I can't. Okay, I like how this episode has then just turned into us complaining about working in restaurants. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, I worked at a mall, and then Gabby and I are like, a spank at a mall. Triggered. <laughs> no, but literally every day, just praying for something to go wrong. Yeah, 
Oh, God, COVID was the best fucking time. I know. R.I.P. <laughs> to all y'all, you know, fallen soldiers out there. R.I.P. to all those <sighs> lost. But here's the thing that we did gain. Freedom. 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 Made the most money of my fucking life on that goddamn unemployment. And we were still below the poverty line. Ooh, we. Uh, and every day I have no money now, but I'm like, do I need to go back to restaurants? And I'm like, nope, you know what? Nope, I would rather starve. The I can't do it. The ulcer that I'm getting and the, the stress acne that I'm getting yeah. are worth it to have, uh, you know, at least a, an ounce of peace oh, from the 100%. fucking... I would rather take this fucking stress that I have of yep. like, because at the end of the day, I'm digging myself in my own hole. Huge hole. It's I mean, we fine. haven't paid rent in two months. Oh, t- in two months. You know, it's going to be a third. And when I was getting all that unemployment money, I spent it all on hair in- extensions, injections, hair extensions, tattoos, fucking everything. Because I was like, who knows? You know, let's just, just let's just live. Oh, I, I, Do went I regret through- it every day of my life because was it $50,000? <laughs> yes. Fuck off, Gabby. Did I spend that in, I don't know, a year? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I, I decided to like revamp my entire wardrobe. Obsessed. Yeah. Also, you and I are going off right now because we just pounded a Red Bull <laughs> so fast. I'm like, yeah, and another one. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but- <laughs> I can't believe Red Bulls affect you like that. Right? I just get I really like riled. I get really riled up thinking about service industry jobs. Yeah, that also that does get the fucking blood. I definitely shut pumping. a show down once because we didn't have uh, internet, it, so we couldn't run our, PO, our, our POS systems. Good. And As you should. Yeah, and yeah. I just didn't really right. want to run the show, yeah. and so I was like, "Yeah, we just can't do it. We totally could do it." Yeah, you, you, like, but you don't. Yeah. So well, anyway, okay, wait, really quick. I was a lifeguard when I was in high school. Um, every summer, it was so much fun. And uh, one summer, there was this guy. He was crazy, and he worked there. And whenever it was cloudy, because I, I was a lifeguard in the south, and so whenever it was cloudy, there was a uh, you know going to be like thunderstorms or whatever, and we would always pray for thunder. Of course. And then finally, like after, like it was a, a shitty day. There's kids being annoying as fuck. It's hot as hell. And then the clouds come over, and then his name was Brandon. He goes, all right, guys, give me 10 minutes. And all of a sudden we just hear like this, like banging. And we're like, oh, Brandon is making fake thunder. And then comes back up. He's like, oh, thunder. Yep. We got to get everybody out of the pool. And then he, and like, you have to wait an hour for thunder. And I think it's like three or four hours for lightning. But so he would bang on the trash can and then just kept it right when it was about to hit like the hour mark, he would go down and bang on the, on the dumpster. Cause the the pool was on a cliff. And so then it was echo through the Canyon. And he's like, oh, sounds like the storm's getting closer. And then just would keep doing it. That guy's a genius. (laughs) Genius. One guy brought in like fake shit and like threw it in the pool and was like, oh, got to drain the pool now. Perfect. That is exactly what I would do. That, and I was like, oh, I love this. I remember (laughs) when I was... Now, fuck this. I, I, we'll get back to the story in a second. But I just remembered... <laughs> Mid-story right I know. now. <laughs> <laughs> Mother fuck! So what, when what? I was... <laughs> oh, so my one of my old managers, um, there was somebody eating in our restaurant and they, you know, they opened up the sugar to put into their coffee. Oh. Wouldn't you know it, there's a cockroach in the sugar. Oh! Oh, yes. Uh, cockroach and the sugar. They obviously How do you get in there? How do you get in there, right? So so they complained <laughs> to my manager. My manager comps the drink. And I'm like, that's all you're going to do? Comps just the drink? Oh, comps the comps Bitch, the you drink. better make me a shareholder in the restaurant. Absolutely. Comps the drink doesn't give them a discount on the food. This is the first time where I've ever been like, hey, you know what? Maybe we should have. You've said this one before. Have I? Yeah, you have. Okay, well, let me. Okay, just, LOL, because I did. I, that was, I felt like I was hearing that for the first time. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> Honey, Lisa, let me get back. That's cute. I've already heard yeah, he it. Brought us, he brought us right back to the story. Okay, so yeah. this. Oh, she did to you earlier. Yeah, no, yeah, that was true. actually on some cunt shit, too. I wanted to <laughs> oh, yeah, tell okay. my story. And then do you like that I still kept saying the story? Because I was like, shut I the fuck care. up. Okay, we okay. Can, we can just repeat ourselves in the same episode for all I give a shit. So, okay, so remember, um, I decided to say, oh, sorry, we uh, can't open that for tasting bottle purchases. Bottle only. wine for the guy. Okay. Right. Yeah. He's embarrassed in front of his friends, um, blah, 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 blah. So I think his ego was acting like this was the worst service he'd ever have. He, he proceeds to order thousands of dollars. Of wine. Side note, um, side note, I'm a younger Mexican woman, so it wasn't uncommon for guests to treat me like shit without realizing I was in charge and ask the question, what are you? Mm-hmm. By old white men on way too many occasions. As I'm checking this dude out, he asks for an extra discount. Fuck that. Which I would have shit on him. Yeah, the well, entitlement is very real. I would have shit on him. Which again, I totally had the approval to do for certain guests, but told him no and charged his ass full price. He then proceeded to say, you really need to tell the guy who runs this place that customers like me deserve special treatment and discounts. 
Hey, why, fuck you. bitch? Why? Like, motherfucker, I am that guy. He became a regular and continued to harass us for the rest of the time I worked there. No. See, and that's what happens is that some of these um, customers, like, get off on this, on, like, the fact that you treated them like shit. They so do. they keep they keep coming back to just be, like, showing well, you up. you want to know why? Because fuck I bet that. this guy gets treated by— it's, it's like a fucking hierarchy, right? So it's like someone's <clears throat> treating this guy like absolute fucking mm -hmm. shit. And so then he has to, like, fucking come in here and be like, No, I am a big man. I'm a big, important yeah, man. Yeah, it makes him feel in control. So he continues to harass you for the rest of the time you work there. I wish I could have told him to fuck off. I Googled him, and he's a doctor in the area. I'm a—I'm dead. She sent a picture with this, and I was like, I wonder what this picture is. It's him. Oh, oh my yes. god that's so yes. funny I literally thought that this was a Shutterstock photo of just a white guy let me fucking see I literally thought this was just a Shutterstock photo what would you guys do if I'm like that's my doctor okay wait yeah no. I'm fucking ew of course on. it's a fucking I'm doctor dead. okay so I googled him he's a doctor in the area I'm attaching a pic so you can see how punchable his face is <laughs> he always wore a bow tie oh fuck this guy yeah, he's wearing a fucking bow tie. I had a wonderful boss who always supported me, and she and I took the brunt of the rude guests. A guest once held my boss's hands behind her back to, in his words, teach her a lesson oh. about talking with her hands. You could have called the police. You could have and should have called the police. I mean, oh, a cab, but God. also, what the fuck? Yeah, it's assault. That, that's, it is. That's so fucking Ab disgusting. Absolutely vile behavior. We always tried to prep for uncomfortable interactions like this, but it was so easy to just freeze when a complete stranger is degrading you for no reason. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm out now, and I work in a boring. I work in a boring office job where I don't have to deal with the general public. And she's opened her own consulting business. I don't miss it for a second. Okay, good on both of y'all. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm dead at this fucking doctor. <laughs> That fucking fuck. He's probably dead now. If you've ever seen Batman, um, he kind of looks like a um, lamer version of the Penguin. So yeah, there you it, go. He looks like you could have served him fucking swill and he wouldn't have even known. Shut the fuck up, Lee. That's so funny. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's funny. My manager at my last job too she was mexican and i would see the way that people would talk down to her they wouldn't oh. do it to the the manager before that who was a white guy mm -hmm. but when it came to ellie they were all so fucking mean to her and then they'd be like let me talk to who's in charge and she'd be like i am in charge and mm -hmm. they would just like oh and i love when people would come in and get mad and be like i know the owners and we're like okay who gives a fuck also oh my god yeah people have told me that that's been something that's okay. been said to me ever since i was in high school working job well i know who runs the the shop here Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. hey guess what so do i bitch that's who hired my fucking class that's, and guess <laughs> what they fucking suck too yeah bye bitch. Okay, this is okay. The story that I wanted to tell, maybe <laughs> remind me if I've told it on here because we we should t we should talk about this about when I called the girl girl. I don't know. So okay, I was working at this restaurant, and um, I'm heading to the bathroom, rounding a corner, and a girl is uh, is also rounding the corner. We bump into each other, mm -hmm. and she's black, and I was like. Oh, sorry, girl. Like, excuse me, girl, whatever. I go back to doing whatever I do. She comes up to me a couple minutes later and she's like, can I talk to you outside? And I was like, okay. She pulls me outside and she goes, I just want to let you know um, that that was really degrading to call me girl. I am a black woman. And in my culture, white people calling like that's a way of you talking down to us, referring to us as like girl and boy. And I was like, One of my friends just made like a whole like ten part like About thing on her story. And boy. Yeah, because really? she hates it. She she hates it when white women call her girl. And so, and I used, I, to, call, I used to call every I know everyone, mm -hmm. but I stopped doing it once I saw her thing, and I was like, yeah. oh shit, okay, all right. I call everyone girl. I mean, I know that you weren't doing it to be like hundred percent. Was yeah. I just was hey, sorry, girl. Yeah. Um, and she's like, in the way that you did it, you were talking down to me, and I just need to let you know. And I was fucking gobsmacked i was like uh i can just see your little face to your public like, uh, 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 and it's like you know i i, I you know who might have fucking 
argue with, you know, obviously, like, she's tender about that subject. Well, it's okay. On, and you so have on to one respect hand, that. On one hand, you're like, look, like, you know, I am a white woman. I don't want to fucking invalidate you. And there is a history of that. 100%. You cannot deny that there is that. 100%. However, you can also say, like, I clearly was just bumping into you and just, like, you know, it was just, uh, I don't know your name. I was just saying, hey, sorry, you know. And to me, girl is, like, a term of endearment when you're like, hey, girl. I go, sorry, mm-hmm. girl. Um, what's up, girl? Like, it's a term of, like, yeah, it's a term of endearment. But for her, it was, you know, a, a well, I've also heard, like, you know, thing. like, black women, and I, and I think, I, I don't know, but I've also heard that, like, they don't like it when, um, like, to be called cis by, by, uh, by white women. And here's my thing. How the fuck are we supposed to know what strangers like and don't like? Hey! <laughs> well, that's the thing. She could have just been like, hey, you obviously don't know, but there is some backstory to calling black women girl. And it offended me. And and if she just approached you like that, no, she didn't, you, you probably wouldn't be telling us this story right yeah. now. Yeah. It had know? it shook okay, me. Okay, not you saying, but she didn't though. I'm dead. She didn't though. And it shook me because I was just like, I uh, clearly I do not I did not mean to offend you, but what the fuck am I? So I definitely, I call people brother just because I'm like a weird, a big like, hippie, Hogan hippie fan. white yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm like, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, My brother. dad does that too. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Yeah. And uh, and I definitely, <clears throat> I, I like, <clears throat> I, when I say it to black people, I get, I freeze for a second. Right. But nobody has ever said anything to me. Um, there's this comic, Mike Falzone. He's so fucking funny. But he has a bit about... Um, his white friends changing their voices when they get around um, people of color. And he's like, he's like, you know, like my friend will be like, be like, Hey guys, like, you know, what's going on? He's like, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, a cool black guy will come up to him. And he's like, Hey fam. Oh man. And he's, and then he like just goes so fucking funny. in it all the time. and it's so fucking <clears throat> cringe. Um, and I still continue to call people girl, but now I really don't really do it because of the gender stuff. Cause people fucking, you know, you never know now if somebody's going to be like, don't call me that. But here's the thing. If you make a mistake, then a simple correction, and then you're all good. Um, <laughs> hi, Honks and Lee. I worked in the food industry for 10 years, doing both waitressing at restaurants and as a server for different catering companies. One day, I was working at, at a... Uh, wait, what? I was working as a server at a small wedding and was passing out hors d'oeuvres when an old white man signaled me over. I didn't think anything of it at the time and was used to old white men calling me over to ask inappropriate questions like, where are you from? Referring to my ethnicity or where do you, or what do you really do for work? As if this wasn't my main and only source of income. Thankfully, this old white man didn't ask me any dumbass questions like that. Instead, however, he signaled me closer and closer as if he was about to whisper something to me and instead placed his half-eaten saucy meatball into my pocket. (sighs) Not into a napkin or into my hand, not onto the serving tray I was carrying, but literally shoved it into my pocket without saying a word. Gabby's not listening. I just want to let everyone know that she is working on her iPad. She's not working. I mean, she's not listening. Okay. (sighs) Put it down, put it down, put it down. Okay. I was used to people being disrespectful, but had never anything like that happen to me. And I was so shocked. I didn't even say anything, just walked away. Looking back, I wish someone had shoved it back into his, or I wish I had shoved it back into his old gross ass face and made him choke on it, but wasn't able to think that quick at the time. So really nothing positive or funny came from it all at all. <laughs> I now work in the biggest service industry of all, the healthcare system, and have countless stories of patients and their pee and poop, but we'll <laughs> save those stories for another time. Thank you for your show. I really enjoy it. Thank you, honey. Here's what I want. I do. Okay, we already did a, a ho- meatball in the pocket. That's so fucking rancid. That is fucking rancid. I was just thinking the exact same thing, which uh, ho- like uh, hospital workers. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, because we've done hospitalizations, but health cur- yeah, care. Yeah, health care stories. Workers. Yeah, yeah, we should do Fuck, that. Because those stories are like service industry on fucking mm-hmm. steroids. Yeah. yeah. Dude. I'm sure we have a few of those too. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Fuck, I'd love to hear stories from people working in hospitals. Mm-hmm. So nasty. So fucking nasty. Yeah, we have to. I'm going to be full of like fucking shit and blood. I wonder if I have enough followers who have uh, worked in morgues. I would love to hear morgue stories too. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Um, when you get um, Matt's overlap. boyfriend. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Miss Meatball over here. Yeah. Um, What's up did- with these fucking cranky old white men? Fuck off. I know. They're always so fucking cranky. 
Oh my god! Uh, yeah, so those, entitled. So entitled. So entitled. Oh my god! Okay, so when I was working at that fucking haunted bar, I was working for Super Bowl Sunday. It was when, yeah, yeah, yeah it was fucking Super Bowl Sunday. I'm running around like a fucking chicken with its head cut off, like trying to get everyone their fucking drinks and their wings and whatever. <laughs> and this fucking uh, dude, white guy in his mid thirties, calls me over and he's like, eyes are blood, like you know, bloodshot red. There's like fucked up, smells like whiskey. He's like, hey, I got another drink. And then I was. <laughs> like no i think you're good and then he was like give me another drink and i was like oh well i can't right now because like you weren't allowed to over serve and this guy was like clearly fucked up i was like oh jesus oh and so i'm like well just once i'll be right back and so then i just like run away from him and he grabs my arm and yanks me back and i was like oh and he was way taller than me and like raise it like winds up his fist and like he's holding my arm and goes to punch me and i was just, what like, i was in shock and i'm like oh and then all of a sudden um the bo- the the door guy he was he's one of my uh friends and he just comes running up and just takes him by the neck and lifts up this fucking guy before he could fucking get his punch out and then just takes the guy out and throws him on the ground and then like took a picture of his uh, uh of his id and never let him back in there and then i ended up quitting like a week later i was like i can't Whoa. deal with this wait okay question on the fucking <clears throat> cutting people off what have you how many does somebody do you cut somebody off at I don't have an exact number. So it's, it's illegal. It's illegal to serve people that are visibly drunk. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So it's illegal. And and it, <laughs> and it has to be. It, it you can't serve somebody more than two drinks in one hour. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Yes. You're not supposed to serve anybody more than two drinks in one hour, and if they're showing signs of, of being visibly drunk, they have they they're supposed to be cut off. What about shots? I mean, that's two a drink, drinks honey. in one hour. Now, I do, feel like I've gotten do, so many fucking drinks. Do people, honestly. no, of course, because yeah. they, he's just saying what the rule is. Like, yeah, of course, okay. like people, no one's gonna like fucking adhere to that. But, but like, because I had to, I had to do all this because as when I was managing the venue, I had to uh, security fell under me. Mm-hmm. I had to manage security, and they were the ones kind of cutting people off. Okay, yeah, because the bartenders are just serving too fast. You're not really paying attention. Okay, so it was just security cuts people off, and so I had to learn all those rules because I was. Man, basically managing cutting people off okay and yeah you're not also drinks. supposed to tell people directly no you're supposed to like say at least like that's like how i was taught like or you're not be like, like or be yeah. like water or you know <clears throat> i just was so stressed at the time i yeah, just like you know i had like 47 people i was taking care of and then i was just like oh no and then i was like oh fuck i shouldn't have directly said no mm-hmm. but then i almost got punched in the face that's so uh, crazy mm-hmm. fuck that all right um hi honks this is probably too late for submission it's not but i need to share a few years a few years ago i worked at a as a bartender at the surly goat (gasps) harper rose i think i remember seeing you there probably a sprightly (laughs) fuck a sprightly the surly goat i have been so fucked up there i well, we're going to hit pause. Okay. So I used to go to the, sur- I used to live up the street from the Surly Goat. I, that was one of the first bars I started drinking at. And that's at the time, in West Hollywood. Yes. It's at the, it's on Fairfax and Santa Monica, essentially. Who did you live there with? Um, this guy named Tom, who used to steal all of the rent money and buy Coke. Oh. And then this girl, Mariah. So shout out to you guys. They don't listen to the podcast. LOL. Um, but anyway, so I was always going to the Surly Goat. Um, I would make out with the the one of the bouncers. He was a very old man to um, let me in. No. I was like 19, 20, and he would let me in. And then um, this is around the time I got my DUI. And then uh, one day uh, I came there... Uh, I shortly after turned 21 and I go into the bar. I'm like, you guys, I'm finally 21. They were Stop. like, Hey, don't yell that out here. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> and I lifted up my skirt and I wasn't wearing any underwear. And I showed everyone my pussy. Why? I was so, I was probably like 11 drinks in. If you think I remember this, I don't. This Not is you story showed everyone your told. pussy. Showed everyone my pussy. And then I got like a free, they're like cute. And then, sh- so <sighs> that's on cute pussy. And then, um, <laughs> Mm, CPEs. Uh, but anyway, so then, um, yeah. And then people were telling me this the next day. They're like, Harper, you took your pussy out. And I was like, huh, coolio. You took um, your I, pussy out. I, uh, while I was dating a man, I hooked up with a girl in the bathroom. I've left my underwear in the bathroom. I have made out with so many finance dudes in that bar and girls. I've done horrible things. So much so that I try not to even go to that bar now. Hmm. Haven't been in years. So well, you're not missing out. So yeah. yes, you've been seen at the Surly So goat. I guess you so, could say yeah. I've been se- So when I think Harper's been there. Mm, I, th- <laughs> I think so too. She actually saw the your old, pussy. The old me has been there. Yeah, that was like old. Like I would do, that's where I would do fucking clonopin and get fucked uh, up. Imagine, imagine the story was actually about the night that you showed your pussy and then she has pictures <laughs> of it in here. 
I'm like passed on the ground. Yeah, no, I, I've had many, many nights. So, okay. So a sprightly young man power walked up to the bar. The imagery of just yeah, power walking up to a bar is so fucking funny. He asked for a Long Island iced tea. Mm. Some of the bar owners and b- bartenders refused to make these. Long Island iced teas are strong garbage can drinks. Mm-hmm. But here I am in a known epicenter of drunkenness. Mm-hmm. Most of our regulars and bartenders were good for 10 or more drinks in a night. Wow. Like they would have 10 drinks in a night. Wow. Really? Most of our regulars yeah. and bartenders. Oh. That's what oh. it says. So. Yeah, I guess so. Huh? Oh, I used to drink. I used to write. I guess I used to drink like that too. I just, yeah. It's so such a distant memory at this point. Um, Shut the fuck up. I used to regularly pour another guy shots of gin and Chardonnay. Ew. Ew. So That's who like am a, I to judge? Huh? Shots it's, of gin alone is gross. Yeah, it, shots of gin is disgusting. But I'm trying to think of the drink. It's like a French 75 or some shit. It's like it's gin and Chardonnay. That's disgusting. Gin and champagne, I think a French 75 right. is. But that's, okay. that's nasty. That's fucking gross. Mm-hmm. Imagine just drinking that lukewarm. So who am I to judge or deprive someone of a popular drink of their choice? He took. He looked like Home Alone Macaulay Culkin, okay. but he was of age and polite and seemed sober. I warned him that it was a strong combination of cheap liquor. He assured me that it was what he wanted most in the world. (laughs) Alarming. Is that a quote from him? Alarming. What a funny fucking most in the world. (laughs) She's like, yeah. He seems poetic in trouble. She goes, uh, goes, you sure you want this? He goes, I want this most Most in the world. uh, Yeah. (laughs) And honestly, how do you say no to that? You don't. You don't. 30 minutes later, I look up from the bar and paramedics are sprinting through the front door Stop. with a stretcher. Oh. It was a sudden and intense scene. They wheel it straight to the back. Who wheels who wheels back my frozen face? Kevin McAllister. His friends were crying, total mess. That's it. Hope he made it. Gabby and Harper Rose, you are forever funny and lovely people. Just started listening to the podcast and it's my favorite thing. Oh, fucking new listener. Thank you. Cute. LOL that she recognized The story my... is probably late, but I'll submit, a, please, I'll submit another story in the future. Thank you. Please thank you, do. Thank you. Uh, just want to thank you both and Lee for what you do. You're an angel. Um, do submit it in the future. This story was wild. I wonder if he is fucking dead. His friends were crying? Like, your friends... Wait, wait. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, so he came out on a stretcher and his friends were crying. Do you think he made it? Yes, I do think he made it. I think they were drunk and that's why they were fucking laughing. I mean, so that, that's why they were fucking crying. I just read the word laughing. That's why I just said I that. I mean, I wouldn't cry if you were f- uh, just really drunk. I'd just be like, you fucking dumb bitch. Well, if we were, if, if I was hey, get really on that drunk, stretcher. No, because like they were probably worried. Hmm. Does that not make sense? A stre- their friends are being. Couldn't be me. Mm, maybe ask your therapist if you're a sociopath again because they were going to need I already to, did. She said no. To double check on that. Yeah. She said no. Hmm. Well, she also thought you had a twin, so it's not giving the most reliable okay, yeah, source. Not giving the reliable source. Not giving a reliable source. <laughs> she said that not I not uh, no, no reliable, not reliable, not reliable, not reliable, not reliable, not reliable. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, I. <laughs> okay, and also because you're thinking it, shut the fuck up. Okay. Uh, anyway, so um, let's see. We, uh, these are so long. This one's really. Don't good, worry. Though. We can save them for the fucking the ketchup story. Yep. Okay. Then this is this is going to be a short, cute one. Um, but. To the girl that wrote in with a picture of J. Cole, I am fucking reading that on the catch-up story, so don't worry. But I just want to give it the proper amount of time. Okay, so here's a nice little short, sweet one. Um, I worked at a 24-hour diner. Did that, that just sound like I'm slurring? No. Whoa. In my head, it sounded like I was slurring. I did faint <laughs> in a yoga class you. today. Literally I had fun. a little seizure, so I feel like I'm having one right Here now. Here we go. She's okay. trying to get... She's trying I'm to not kidding. Gabby, I think you might need to read empathy. this. Wait, why? Because I can't read it. Wait, really? I'm not kidding. You Are you just doing this to get out of the story? She faked that to get out of reading it. I didn't fucking fake it. You faked it. <laughs> you faked it. You know what you did? You faked it just like you did at Phil's. So you get fired. No, at Phil's I dropped to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you better not cut that seizure. Yeah, you keep the seizure in. Yeah, because now I'm having one. <laughs> you fucking wish. <laughs> My vision like went out. Shut the fuck up, Gabby. It's <laughs> so mean. <laughs> It's okay. At least I have prettier cheeks. Okay, go. <laughs> a, fa- a faker is a faker is a faker. Um, <laughs> you would know all about that. Go. Let me see the fake seizure again, Gabby. <laughs> it's because I'm getting too hot. 
Uh, I worked at a 24 hour diner near the beach. And when I was younger and one summer, I was working in the patio, which was completely enclosed inside the restaurant. And it had just a rectangle roof. When a mother came in to eat with her adult special needs daughter, sounds like Harper, they were in beach attire and I noticed (laughs) dripping. They were in beach attire and I noticed dripping coming from the daughter's seat. And I thought she must have just had a wet bathing suit or something, but realized she was peeing. This is what Harper does when she has a seizure. No. Yeah, she had done it. She peed again. Okay, it's really bad, Harper. She peed again and way more this time. So my boss made me go put a caution wet floor sign next to their table. I. Stop. Fuck. The girl peed a few more times, so my boss went up to the mother and pointed out that her daughter kept pissing on the floor, and the mom screams, I know what the fuck it is! This is literally a story about Harper and her mom. And continued eating and letting her daughter sit down in her own urine. At this point, there's a pool of pee under the table, cooking in the sun, and traveling throughout the whole patio via tile grout. It obviously... (laughs) Stop looking at me. It obviously began... To stink like piss. And ever, is this ringing any bells? Um, this more so sounds like you. And but everyone, okay, you're the one that likes to let it all out. But. And everyone, if this was me, I would have shit. You're a peer. Um, actually, we're going to pause the story really quick. I just want to let you guys know, the other day when we were on the way over to Lee's, uh, Gabby was picking her nose and she goes, I'm going to wipe my boogers on my car. <laughs> and you started smearing it on your car like a disgusting skank. Little messy, messy, <laughs> vile monster. So I'll take piss, I'll take pissing after a fucking seizure versus in my right mind wiping my nose goo on my vehicle. So continue. Okay, on Patreon we got. Can we get a trigger warning? But before you say blood slugs again. <laughs> Wait, does somebody the complain? No. Yeah. For real? Yeah. That's what drove you to complain? Oh, yeah. oh my God. I, I t- oh, look, she's awake now. No, Hold I'm on, not. let me that finish my thing. piss story. Okay, finish it. Okay. Hold on, not blood slugs. <laughs> everyone cleared out of the patio except his mother and daughter. for a fucking trigger warning? <laughs> okay, so everyone cleared out of the patio except for this mother and daughter who never even used the bathroom before leaving. An unforgettable shift. That is an actually insane story. You would think, even if your daughter has special needs, you would think you would just be like, hey, let's go to the fuck. Don't let her piss. Like, do both of yourselves a favor. So her daughter pissed everywhere. Her, her daughter just kept pissing mm-hmm. and it started to leak. Okay, it's because I was half listening, but how was that a service industry? That wait, She was a server. Oh, okay. She was a... Uh, so it's not her daughter. It's another woman's it's daughter. A, it's a customer's daughter. Um, and the server notices dripping coming from the seat. And she thought it was a wet bathing suit or something. She peed again. This time my boss said, go get a caution wet floor sign next to the table. The the girl peed a few more times. So my boss went up to the mother and pointed out that her daughter kept pissing on the floor. And the mom screams, I know what the fuck it is. Okay. And so now everybody is just baking in this fucking patio full of piss. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, there is a pool of pee under the table, cooking in the sun and traveling through the whole patio via tile grout. That's, so that, that must have been such a fucking bummer to fucking clean. They have to like shut down and hose that. Yeah. Thing. That's fucking You know what I wild. also feel bad about is like when people <clears throat> that work in like fast, like McDonald's or fucking Chick-fil-A's oh. that have the play pen oh. or like the junk, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. The, the jungle the play play place. pen. Yeah, yeah you McDonald's guys got it. play place. And then like there's always, it's not even just piss. It's always a kid that has like fucking like, kind of like Gabby, like diarrhea, <sighs> just like everywhere, like kind of like spray paints with diarrhea, Gabby. And then the fucking kids, and then like all the kids start like throwing up when they see it, <laughs> you know? And then a worker has to clean that up. Poor, poor fast food places. Also Rite Aids for some reason. I worked are, at a Rite Aid for a little while. They're always, they always, yeah, first of you're all, trying to get those prescriptions. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that thrifty ice cream. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say something to you guys. This has been fun and cute, but we're going to need to turn on the air conditioning. So yeah, let's wrap it up. Because Miss okay, Thing okay. over here is having seizures. <laughs> Gabby is forever jealous of me. Sorry that you're not epileptic. Oh, my God. I did tell... Wait, did I already tell you guys this? That I I uh, told my Pilates instructor that I was epileptic the other day when she asked right before class. And then the it, she didn't realize what epileptic meant. And, nope. and then she started speaking to me really slowly. Stop. Because she, she thought I was like special needs, uh, handicapped, if you will. And then, the, uh, then when the class ended... I I was talking to this girl and we were like, you know, just like, oh, like what, like, when are you going to take the next class? Okay. Da, da, da. And then she goes, that's really nice that we're making friends after class. Stop. It's fun to make new friends. 
And I was like, this bitch she thought, thinks that I need a keeper. She that thought she, that you did need a keeper. thought I was Forrest Gump fucking making my way downtown, walking fast. And I was like, this is honestly fucked up. And I hope everyone goes and looks up what epilepsy or epileptic means. So if you don't know what happened, <laughs> share this episode with somebody who doesn't like, you know what yeah, epilepsy also, is. Also, wait, before, real quick, real quick. Did it somebody... was so, I'm like, I want to, I like, don't want to go back to that. It was so embarrassing. Hey. And everyone heard. And then everyone like looked at me like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> next time you come back to class, she's going to be like, everybody welcome Harper. Uh, and another thing, she was so, like, okay, so like, you know, it's like, okay, so in Pilates, like you're on a machine. And it's like, okay, put the, put the red thing on. On, put the whatever thing on. I can't use words right now. Whatever. So you have to like put like little like pulleys on. And then uh, she, like she wouldn't help anyone else but me. And she was always right next to me. And she's like, all right, now we're going to do two rests. She's like, I got it. I got it. No. And then she would adjust my machine. No. And I was like, and at first I'm like, oh, she's being so nice. No. And also I was like, oh, I think she's been a little too nice. I got it. Don't worry, yeah, no, sweetie. No. Do we, you don't want to think too hard. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's like flashing lights above me. I'm like, <laughs> maybe turn those off. Okay. Wait, hold on. Somebody really complained about us saying blood slugs. <laughs> yeah. So what the comment was, I think it had to have been a joke, but it's in all caps. And it says, where was the trigger warning before using the term blood slugs? Okay, hilarious. No, that is, that's a joke, well, but that's the also really you. funny. We are going to now make merch that says blood slugs. We are also going to name this episode blood slugs. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you. This is in Patreon. Okay. So Thank you so much. Find us at Patreon and you can find me in the hospital. Okay, bye. <laughs>